Hello, everyone. Annette Anthony here, your Director of Corporate Engagement for Exit Realty Corp International. I'm so excited for today's topic. We're going we're gonna to focus on building your real estate referral network. I believe this is just as important as your sphere of influence. As you know, your sphere of influence is a collection of individuals who know, like, and trust you, who would be highly likely to refer you business as you stay in touch on a regular basis. And many of you receive a, the bulk of your business from your referral base, your sphere of influence. But what about your, your real estate referral network? Is there an opportunity there? And I think there is. In speaking with agents across the country, across North America, there is an opportunity to, to receive more referrals from your real estate network. So I put together a presentation to help you do exactly that. So this is what we're gonna focus on today. We're gonna to talk about getting in and outbound referral ready. Because we can't just dive in and expect that you're that you're ready to go to start receiving and sending referrals. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done and some thought that goes into it so that your community of real estate professionals is very intentional, very thoughtful. So that's what I've got planned for you today. I'm also gonna live drive several of our tools and resources where we help you stay connected with Exit Realty Associates throughout North America, both on desktop and also online in the Exit Realty Connect app. And then I want to I want to make sure that this session is impactful for you. I'm going to give you some takeaways that you can easily implement immediately following this presentation. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is that you need to use a CRM. When you're building a network, it's impossible. So I'm just going to reach into my desk. It is absolutely, of course, these are all my business cards, but you could just imagine, use your imagination. You probably have a stack of business cards somewhere in your office, right, of other real estate agents. Well, this is not a CRM, okay? I think we can agree. You need a, a, a digital place where you can store, you can update, you can add, you can de delete individuals, right, their contact information. You can update it. A CRM is important. You can't have sticky notes all over the place. That's just not a practical way of doing business. You need to be able to have your collection of relationships, your collection of real estate relationships needs to be digitized. So a CRM is a non-negotiable. If you currently do not have a CRM system, you can certainly Google different contact relationship management programs that you feel will be best for your business. Or you can always reach out to us and we can certainly have a conversation about what might be a good CRM for you to use. So be sure, I'll have my contact information at the end and I wanna be an advocate for you to help you find a great CRM. Uh, when agents say, which is a CRM that I should be using in it? We're going to tell you whatever CRM system you're using. Like really dive into that CRM, add your people, stay connected regularly. Because we're talking about real estate connections, real estate professionals that you're engaging with. It's important to keep those in a separate group inside of your CRM so that you can organize the conversations to this very important group. This group is very different from your sphere of influence. Okay, your sphere of influence are different people. Your group of real estate professionals should be just that. So you've got to have a CRM. Now, when we're talking about getting ready, I want you to think about you. Okay, so in this particular slide, what, what I wanted you to walk away with is you have to have answers to these questions when you're defining who are you, right? So like, for instance, where it says define the what. What do you do? Okay, what do you specifically do? Have you written that out yet? What's important is you wanna be able to articulate that value. So when people are gonna ask you about your real estate career and what do you focus on, they're gonna to wanna to know the what. So what do you do? Um, the where, where do you do it? So where do you focus on helping buyers or sellers or maybe it's investors or commercial people? Where do you do that? What community is it? What area is it? That's so important to define. And then the who, who do you serve? Who are the people that you are working with, that you're passionate about doing business with? The who is really important. So the what, the who, the what, the where, and the who probably is gonna be very easy for you to define. Now, the next part is that you need to be clear is what are your specializations? What do you specialize in? Do you love working with single moms? 
and helping them find homes? Do you love working with first time home buyers? Do you love working with people that want to explore living in on a farm or they want to be near the hustle and bustle of a city? Like what are your specializations? Where do you specialize? Do you have designations? Now that's a really big one. And we're gonna, we're gonna focus in on why that's important in just a little bit. But your specializations, do you have any designations? Do you have specialized education that gives you the authority, um, the knowledge to be able to serve specific type of people's needs? So this information is really important for you to articulate this with agents in the real estate industry so that when you convey your value, when they're working with someone in your area, which is outside of their area, right? And they remember what you do, where you do it, who do you do it with, and what are your specializations? It's gonna be very easy for them to refer you business, okay? So this is a very important part of getting ready for your referrals because you wanna prepare people to understand who you are, okay? Now, let's talk about the people you're gonna refer out to. So this is the best part because you get to control how many people you want in your sphere of professional real estate agents, okay? So when you're defining who, so who do you wanna work with? What type of agent you know, do you enjoy working with? So who are they? What do they specialize in, okay? And once you've identified those two things, you certainly wanna reach out to them specifically and say, listen, I, I, I've seen what you do online, you specialize in these areas, or you specialize with this type of buyer or seller. You wanna invite them to an opportunity where you can let them know, hey, I, I need someone like you in your area that I can refer business to. Would you be okay if I stayed in, if I, if I added you to my professional real estate sphere of, 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 of professional contacts. And what's special about that is they're gonna, it, it's very um, intentional. They know that, wow, I'm gonna be added to this very special group of people that if you happen to know someone who specializes in this, that you're gonna keep me in mind, of course they're gonna want to be added to this very special group of yours. So it's important to know who, who is it that you wanna work with, what do they specialize in, right? What, what areas do they serve? You absolutely wanna invite them into the special sphere of referrals for real estate agents. And then you wanna set the expectations, okay? Of how frequent do you want to stay connected with this sphere of realtors? Very important. When you set the expectation, they're gonna to wanna to know, okay, well, how often are you gonna stay in, you know, you're gonna stay in touch. Uh, it's not them having to stay in touch with you. It's you outwardly staying connected with this sphere. And one of the things that I've seen our agents do really well is just stay in touch consistently. So you need to figure out what that consistency is for you. Oftentimes it's just once a month and you get to decide what time of the month is the best time to stay in touch. A lot of agents stay away from the very first few days of the month and the very last few days of the month. So find a sweet spot that works for your sphere of professional real estate agents. And then once you've identified, okay, maybe on the fifth of the month or maybe on the 10th of the month, I'm gonna just send out something important. And what I mean by something important, you wanna let them know what's going on in your market. What are some of the things that you're learning? So think about that. You're always gonna have something of value to share with your professional sphere of realtors. And that's very important because you're not gonna find many people who outwardly stay connected in that, in that capacity. So what you're doing is you're inviting them and you're adding value to them. That's a great thing. And then you also want to be aware of tracking your referrals, whether the referrals that you're sending out and the referrals that you are receiving. You always want to connect with this group and let them know, hey, I just sent a referral to someone in Florida. You know, you can name who they are in Florida. I'm excited that they get to share, you know, working with a buyer that I referred to them. Or you can say, I just received a referral from my sphere of realtors and I get to serve someone in my community. It just reinforces the importance of this group. Now, what I can tell you is, again, Using a CRM is non-negotiable, especially in this, because there's just way too much information to keep track of. Using a CRM where you have this dedicated group within your database that you can keep in touch with them regularly, so just once a month, keeping them updated of what's going on in your market, what are some things that you're learning that can help them 
and then share any inbound or outbound referrals that are happening in your network. That's really smart and, and very interesting for them to receive this information. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna share with you five different things that we're doing to really help our exit associates stay connected with each other. So I'm gonna tap into the office portal. We're gonna go into our Facebook group where we share referrals, um, national connections and how to tap into that and why. We're gonna go into the Exit Realty Connect app, and then we're also gonna dive into our website, exitrealty.com. Now, many of the tools that you're gonna see here are only dedicated to our Exit Realty associates, so they only have access to this information. Granted, the Techinar is also uh, the only public webinar that we do once a month, so we have a lot of guests that are attending here for our, our, our Techinar, and the reason why they're joining is because they want to see what kind of tools and resources and you know that we provide our exit associates but referrals is a great way for our exit agents to do business with one another and we love to foster that so that they do this more often so here's what i'm going to do i've got on a little sticky note all the areas that i'm going to walk you through okay we're going to go into these five areas so that you can see how easily we connect our exit associates to each other so as I live drive, you can either follow along if you're an exit associate who has access to these tools, or of course, we're always going to have this available in the resource center so our exit associates can go back and review this very special Techinar. Okay, so let's dive in. I'm going to go first to our office portal. So the office portal is our, basically, it's, it's like an intranet within our resource center. And I'm logged in as Sharon Richardson. This is our, her test account. So I'm logged in as Sharon Richardson and I'm in the office portal right here. So you'll see where it says my office and I'm just gonna choose her office. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and then you'll be able to see the exit associates in her office. So I'm just gonna refresh my page for just a moment. Now the importance here is being able to connect with your fellow colleagues because if ever you have maybe you've got a an open house that you're going to be doing or you have perhaps let me come back here here we go i'm going to go to the her office if you want help with an event or you want to share some ideas you'll be able to connect with your exit associates here i'm just going to scroll down a little bit here all right so here you'll see her office now, here's one of the things that I, well, the many things I love about the office portal, you'll get to see a photo of the exit associate. You see their name, their title, their mobile number. You also will see their email address. But another thing that we do to help our agents connect easily with each other is we provide their mobile business card and their My Smart Sign information. So as you're at your computer, you've got your phone with you, of course, you can most certainly just hover your camera app over the QR codes and be taken right over to their mobile business card. Or you can text their vanity code to the number 85377. So I love, and our exit associates love this too, having your brokerage directory right here available online, so important. And by the way, this is also available in the Exit Realty Connect app, okay? So keep that in mind, the office portal, it's found right here in the resource center. You'll see your my office, and then just scroll down, you'll see your office directory. So good. I always like to make sure, well, our agents do too, where you wanna make sure that the agent has their complete contact information, so headshot, right? All their contact information, you wanna make sure everything is completely filled in. Okay, office portal, that was easy, right? Okay, let's go to something else. Let's go to our Facebook page. So this is our Exit Realty Referral Group, NA, which means North America. And this is such an active group where we constantly have referrals that are being exchanged. So if, if you're with Exit Realty Corp, right, and you want to be connected with this group, here's something to remember. When you request to be, you know, to connect with this group, you have to make sure that in your profile, it identifies you as being with Exit Realty. Because if it isn't, and we have, I mean, you're not going to be in this group. So you want to make sure that you have your company, you know, contact information, that you have identified yourself as being an exit associate. What I love about this group too is they police each other. So if there's someone who is no longer with exit, that they're still in here, 
they get booted pretty quick. <laughs> so this is important because like I said, it's just a great way to connect with other agents across North America. The ones that you know pay attention to this group, you know, you could be mindful of this group, make sure that you're um, set up to get alerts. So when something is posted, you wanna just be aware what's going on because a referral can come through very quickly and we wanna make sure that you, our exit associate gets access to that information quickly. So the Facebook is Exit Realty Referral Group NA for North America. Be sure that you connect, that you uh, request to join this group. Okay, the third is we're going to talk about national connections. Now, I love this one. National connections, meaning we want to connect you with our offices. So, uh, you have what's called contact lists in the Resource Center where you can connect with offices throughout U.S. and Canada. So, if you're looking for a specific office, now, here's what I love about this. It's not gonna give you a list of all the exit associates, okay? It's not gonna do that, but it will give you a list of the franchisees for those offices. And what I love about that is that you can connect with the franchisee and say, hey, I'm looking for someone specific in your area who specializes in this. And you know what? They're gonna know exactly who it is in their office that specializes in that. So you get to connect directly with the leaders right here under contact lists. This has saved me a lot of time when looking for a specific agent. Um, I have a friend or family member that is in need. I can come right to our leaders and ask them, hey, who do you, who is really special at, you know, maybe they speak Spanish or they have a unique specialization or they like working with, you know, specific groups, you know, um, helping women, you know, that have children, maybe they're uh, single women, or they have, um, they speak, uh, maybe they do sign language. There's so many unique specializations and who better than the office franchisee who's gonna know their agents very, very well and they'll be able to refer you specifically to that agent. Okay, so that's under national connections is what I included. So you'll see an access to our offices. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the Exit Realty Connect app. So if you haven't already downloaded the Exit Realty Connect app, I encourage you that you do. You can text APP, so A-P-P, -P, to the number 85377. You can download the Exit Realty Connect app and you'll have access to all of our resources. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scroll up a little bit and you're gonna go to the section called resources. Again, I wanna highlight areas where you can tap into um, our exit associates for referrals. So in the resources section, you'll see where it says agent search and you'll see office search. So if I choose office search, again, I could be choosing a specific area. So if I type in like for instance, the Woodlands, the Woodlands in Texas, then I can go right to that specific office. Um, I can connect and take a look at their different agents in those areas. I can email them. I can go right to their site and I can connect agents within that office. Now, the importance here is you're not gonna have to scramble. We're, we're providing you all of their information right here in the Exit Realty Connect app so that you can start connecting with people in real time, which is very important. Um, what you can also do is when you click on the actual office, you'll get to see their leader. So you'll see who the franchisee is. You'll see the agents within that office. I think it's beautiful. All their contact information appears. You can connect with them directly. So make sure that you check out the Exit Realty Connect app and start connecting with some of our offices. You know, chances are you have friends and family in a, in a, in a particular state. Like I just moved from Arizona to Kentucky. I have a lot of friends and family still in Arizona. So I can certainly tap into, I, I know a lot of great people there, you know, with exit that I can refer business to great real estate agents. And now that I'm in Kentucky, right now I have another pool of great agents that I can refer business to. Same for you. Think about areas that you're familiar with, but you no longer live there. Well, you're gonna want a trusted advisor that you can connect with. So who is that gonna be for you? 
So you need to start building your list of potential real estate agents that you can refer to. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is we're gonna go to the resource. Actually, we're gonna go to exitrealty.com. So when I go to exitrealty.com, this is our corporate website. Of course, you can go in to find an agent or office. When I click find an agent or office, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose Nick Leibert just because um, Nick Leibert, he has designations. And I wanna show you how this looks, which is really important. Why you should make sure that you include your designations, your specializations, very important. So here's Nick's information. And if I scroll down a little bit to get to know him under designations and specialties, here's where his designations are. Is that important to me? Yes, especially if I'm building a network of real estate agents within my CRM, right? You wanna make sure that you include what their specializations are. Now, I know that this year has been a great year focused on education through the various associations and MLSs. That's an opportunity, if you've taken a if you've taken some time to get a designation, you wanna make sure that your administrative staff at Exit um, puts in your designations or any specializations here and they can do that um, through the resource center so make sure that they do that for you if you have a special designation and maybe it's not listed connect with our franchise support team because we continue to add new designations right that have not yet been in the system but you know they've been added to the different knowledge base that certain national mls's are doing so we'll make sure that we add it to our list of designations so make sure that you get those specializations because that matters, especially when you're referring an agent business across the country. So those were five different ways. So again, exitrealty.com is another great way for you to tap into our exit associates. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the deck because I wanna, I wanna provide you with some resources that you can start implementing immediately, okay? So the first thing I want you to think about, first of all, it's really easy for you to define, you know, who you are as a real estate agent. And then you're all in the same breath, you're gonna define what type of real estate agents do you wanna work with? The best part is you get to create this yourself, okay? You don't have to try to be like this other agent where you're focusing on, you know, areas that really are not a, of an interest or passion for you. You get to define what your audience is gonna be, which is which I believe is really special. The second thing is you want to determine your frequency of connecting with this audience. So if it is once a month, you want to let that audience know that at least, you know, at the most once a month is all I'm going to do. I'm going to connect with you. You can expect my email or my outreach on the 10th of every month. Give them the expectation. Let them know that, hey, I'm going to I'm going to provide you with just short information, like a short overview of what's going on in my market. I wanna update you if I've gotten any new education or specializations, okay? You also wanna say, hey, as I'm going to my office and I'm learning new things, I'm gonna share what new technology or new resources that I'm using to grow my business because I'm sure it's gonna help you too. Is that a good thing? Of course it is. And then what that does is it just reinforces that this is a very special community that you're building, okay? The, the third, which is very important, is you wanna track the information. Just like you track your business and where your business is coming from, you wanna be sure um, the referrals coming in and most certainly the referrals going out. Now in your business, you know, you have different lead generation strategies that you focus on. And all I'm asking you to do is to set a goal. Okay, now I included just two connections per month. Imagine having 12 people, right? By the end of this year, well, by the end in the next 12 months, right? Imagine having uh, two connections per month. So that's over, over the, the next 12 months, that's 24 people that you'll have in your database of real estate agents that are in the industry. They love what they do. You connect with them on a regular basis. Can you see yourself generating referrals? I certainly can. Now, if two isn't enough and maybe you wanna go five or 10, it's completely up to you. I just don't wanna overwhelm you, right? You're, you're probably already focusing on your repeat business. Maybe you do digital ads on social media. Maybe you get out and do door knocking. This is just one of those slices, right, of the pie where you can fill with your referral network. 
very important. So is two connections a month too big to, to reach? I don't believe so. You're already working with great agents. Think about who it is that you want to work with and intentionally reach out to them so that you can do business more often together. Because I believe, you know, in agents that we work with at Exit Realty, it's not about the number of people, okay? It's not just like notches on a belt, right? It's not that. It's all relationships and the people that you get to work with, um, the people that you're adding value to and them adding value to you. We want you to grow your network. So if this is new to you, I am so excited and I hope you take us up on the offer to at least start now building two people in your network and then just do that intentionally every single month for the next year. You'll have a nice group of people that you'll be able, you'll create a rhythm and you'll be able to stay connected and add value to them. Because for us, it's not about the numbers, right? It's about the individual that you're adding value to. And I know if you follow this, you'll be very, very successful. Cause you know, you can make it as big as you want it to be, but you can also make it as intimate as you want it to be so that you can really get to know one another, get to know what their interests are, develop these great relationships. And the best part is you can send them business and even better, they can send you business too. So I hope you take us up on the offer of taking these basic steps to create your referral network of real estate sales professionals into your business. I thank you so much for joining us today. You know, we do this every fourth Wednesday of the month at noon Eastern Standard Time. And we invite you to join us. And you might be thinking, well, why would Exit Realty do this for everybody? Well, because I'll answer that simply. We love to be part of the solution, okay? There's a lot of agents out there who don't have a professional real estate network. This is just an opportunity for them to start building one today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining us and tune in next month, right here, every fourth Wednesday of the month at noon. In the meantime, have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone.